Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Chips, a meal in a minute, and Ooh, the so good. diet of the northerner, or so the southerner likes to believe. Uh, hey guys. But do they Let's watch a video. 1970, England's North-South Divide, Man Alive, Voice of the People, BBC Archive. My name's Connor. If you knew the original link to the video, top of the description, right below that, over there. Ah! Let's get started. They agree in fish and chips, a meal in a minute, and the staple diet of the northerner, or so the southerner likes to believe. But do they agree in Bury, Lancashire? Is it right the people in Bury eat nothing but fish and chips? Absolute rubbish. Well, how often do you eat them? I eat them about twice a week. And this is because, of course, we're busy. We're up early in the morning, every morning, seven days a week. Doing what? We do newspapers, we're news agents. Have been for 25 years. But a lot of people in the south of England have the idea that folks in the north do well, lot, exist on fish and chips. A lot of people in the north also don't like the ideas of people in the south. The snobs, etc. And of course, uh, we haven't, I haven't been down south, but um, from what other customers have told me, uh, they wouldn't like to live down south. They've been, they wouldn't like to live there. Things are more expensive. And it's these type of people who are going out for meals that won't cook themselves. Would you leave the north for the south? Never. No. Are people getting dumber over time? I feel like the average person doesn't sound this intelligent. What do you feel about Would you These type of people who are going out for meals that won't cook themselves. Would you leave the north for the south? Never. No. What do you feel about South Country people? About snobbish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Enough shit. It's interesting because I'm not sure if it's to the same degree, severe or degree is the right word. But it's kind of like the difference for us in like north and south. I'm sure, you know, the gap's closing, but I, I would say if one were to say one is more snobby then it would be the South calling the North that over here. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. Sit off the, <laughs> the land of Coronation Street. Is it any different from the television version the South has learned to accept as the real thing? Is the home of Ina Sharples the true North? Is she the reason why Southerners say, north of Watford and you're in cannibal country? Certainly it's clubland. If you think there's no fun like there used to be, try a night out in a North Country workman's club. The old music hall term, the stand-up comic, still packs them in, and why not? Here they'll tell you can music is one thing, the flesh and blood entertainer is something else, especially when he's one of your own. It mightn't be the thing to do in pinner or queue, but those who want to have it prim and proper, behind their lace curtains and privilege, hedges that's their choice here they'll tell you that if you knew what was good for you you'd be in there letting yourself go it's rough it'll probably smell of beer but it's warm and that's what the north's about mm. Rash, how do you play this 17. It used to be the atmosphere Tom Harris knew well, but when he married a southern girl and took her back to it, that's when the trouble began. Now they live back in the south playing cribbage in the evenings, on their own, in their own suburban sitting room, remembering the days when he took his southern bride to the warm and friendly north he came from. But viewed through her eyes, she was no Lancashire lass, the berry he talked about was something else again. Well, up north, people used to think I was a bit mad because I did so much cooking. They could send the children to the fish and chip shop and get uh, fried chips and peas for a couple of bob, and that was their dinner, their main diet. But do, do you mean that the mothers didn't do cooking? No. No, they never bothered to do much cooking until if it was, it was something that could all go in a pan together. The potatoes, the meats, the carrots, the onions, all in one pan. They never did any, um... Well, it's because Tom's a chef, I don't know. But then again, I've been brought up this way of having plenty of vegetables on a plate. Am I imagining things? Or do people sound more genuine back then? Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just imagining things. But everyone encountered so far just they make great eye contact, they're confident. They don't they plenty of meat and having a proper meal which is all cooked in a separate pan and put on your plate properly. Love this just put all in one pan together. 
and there are one family that I know, they actually eat off a saucepan lids. Because of two of my children there, they've been given the same thing on a saucepan lid. And my children just turned out, I don't like that, Mummy, it doesn't look nice, and they wouldn't eat her. But would you say that was typical of the area that you lived in in Bury? The biggest majority of it, yes. Eating from the saucepan lids? Hmm. Well, what were, the, um, what were the women doing with their time, I in your eyes, if they weren't preparing the sort of meal? In one another's houses, drinking coffee. As soon as the children went, because I started, when I first went there, I didn't, but after a while I began to notice that I was coming down in my standards. I was beginning to get scruffy, I wasn't bothering with my hair and my clothes. As soon as my children went off to school, right, next door, a cup of coffee. We'd all sit there drinking coffee for about an hour, go over the road to somebody else's house drinking coffee. And I ended up, just before I moved here, I was getting as bad as them. In fact, I think I did get as bad as them. But what did you talk about during these coffee sessions, one after the other? <laughs> Local gossip about somebody that wasn't there, I think. You know, there was never any um, main interest in life they didn't seem to have. They didn't have any hobbies, except bingo, when they're talking about who was a bingo last night, how much they won, how much they lost. Okay, I'm not imagining it, okay? They're both they're now both now both people they just have uh, that I've heard kind of one on one in, in in the interview. They know what they want to say. I might be overthinking this. I don't care at this point because I need to say it. But all the time there's like, did you or whatnot? And and then she's stern and it's like, yes, I did this, I did that, mostly yes. Uh, Am I going crazy? I... If the wind... Are we getting worse at communicating? I admire so much people who are confident in their in their um in conversations. Like you're not trying to prove anything. You're just trying to answer things logically and in the best way. I admire so much people who know what they want to say and and can say it perfectly without seeming rude or seeming like you're trying to protect your image. Yeah, I, I, maybe I'm just going crazy. Uh, maybe, uh, am I? Okay. Women went to work, uh, a lot of them would perhaps be working in the factories, in the cotton, cotton mills. In the cotton mills, They'd work yes. pretty hard there, wouldn't they? They worked very hard. Well, I had one experience. I decided to get a job in a cotton mill. Got a half past seven, and eight o'clock I passed out. Passed out? Mm, with a heat. I've never known a place so hot. And talk about work, I've never worked like it in my life. By five o'clock, I'd had enough, and I couldn't go back. But every penny the woman earned, she definitely earns in the cotton now. Well, what was that work like? Can you describe it? Oh, where I was, there was a great big long machine, oh, as long as this room, and had all these bobbins on these pieces of cotton coming down. And if your cotton snapped, there was a spindle going really fast. You had to grab hold of it, stop it, Richard. and piece your cotton up again. Well, I did it once. Instead of holding it tight, I did had hold of it, and I burnt all the inside of my hand. <laughs> And the mill girls in Bury, what do they think about all that? She really is handy, can't do I mean, she must do. Nobody likes my that, really. But she, said, she said that the women who weren't working did nothing but gossip all day long. Well, I can't gossip because I don't like gossiping. I'll have a, I'll have a word with my friends. But I don't go in anybody's house. There's enough to, to do. Everybody, Everybody does that. Everybody does that. I mean, if she can come here and show us where they eat up pamphlets, she's welcome. Yeah. Well, I'll go. We'd like typical. to see. Yeah. We'd well, like to see. And we've not seen it. Mm, no. How would you eat up a pamphlet anyway? Can you imagine yeah. it? You don't want to take it off all off. Don't be able to put it on a table. She nailed with her. Oh, it isn't typical. It isn't typical anywhere in the north. I, mean, I, I don't care who she is, and I'd like to meet her. Are you getting rattled by what she said? Yes, I am. Very rattled. Very annoyed. Okay, I, I am not imagining things. Stop it. People are more genuine. Everyone looks and acts the same nowadays. I think that might...
Forget it. Well, you see, there's a lot of people take Coronation Street very, very seriously. They've never been up here. They've never seen how we live or uh, what we do or anything. All the, yes, I know, but these are the people that she's telling, and they all obviously get a bad or a wrong impression of us, don't they? So they don't want to come up here. Yeah. 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 What is the right picture? If you don't eat off pan lids. Please, please, it's the same as any normal case. We drink out of cups, we have cups of fours and knives and forks, tablecloths. You know, there's straw on the floor or anything like that. We sleep in beds, you know, we're quite normal. If you like her to come to me, I'll tell her a few things. <laughs> well, what would you tell her if she can? <laughs> don't repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that uh, I love all these women so far. They just happen to be all be women talking in this video. But okay, maybe I am the. What? Am I freaking making up something that isn't there? Uh, she was shocked by was the amount of um, beer drinking that went on in Bury every day of the week, not just the weekend. <laughs> she must have done a lot of clubbing, mustn't she? Can't get out of the door. How did she do all that? Getting more money down south than what the arrow fee, you know. Getting more money down south than what the arrow fee, you He's not thirty pound a week workers, he, you know. No, we don't. Working how many? How many? You, how many? You know, get so, any, uh, half of that. How many? Yeah. No, into one. We have to work but out. her point was that there was a lot of beer drinking going oh, on, and it. a lot of going to bingo it, by yes. people who were on the dough. Oh, admit it. <laughs> on the dough. <laughs> on the dough. <laughs> oh well, that's early code, isn't it? That's not well, well, how do you react? Some of them are dough. That's only a few in. Oh yeah. I don't think you can them all alike. No. What about living down? Oh. Living, I wouldn't live down there for 30 quid a week. No. Why not? Because I couldn't stand them. No. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't. What could you not stand about them? They're They're too much edge on them. <laughs> too much edge about them altogether. Come up here, all as well. Come up down there. They'll not see you same road. No, no, no. They're no, not no, friends, no. Right? They're all one They're click. Friends. All one click. Am I crazy? Am, was I just making things up that aren't true? Do I need to just get out more, maybe? And am, am I? Why do people seem so much better back then? I didn't really even mean to say that out loud. I love old videos like this. BBC Archive, British Path, Pathé, Pathé. Love y'all. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is just a quick video I wanted to do. Would appreciate any comments down below. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.